Looks like we're like one cheese board away from me getting to eat my feelings. Hi, I'm Callie, a professional food stylist, and this is the show where I teach you how to style food to look amazing for social media. It's time to plate it perfect. Most people think a cheese board is for a large group of people, but for tonight, we are having a party for one, a cheese party that is. We're gonna use all these awesome ingredients to make a beautiful cheese board you're gonna be so proud of. If you don't know how to cook, this is perfect for you. When you build a cheese board, it's all about color and it's all about texture. And the cheeses that we chose are all kind of lighter cheeses, but one cheese I love is actually a goat cheese with the red wine rind. And I love that pretty pop of color against the creaminess of the goat cheese. Now I wanna start things off with this cheese board. I love it, but when I bought it, it actually had a sticker on the side of it. That's no big deal. All you have to do is cover it up with cheese and it's gonna still be beautiful. So I'm actually gonna start with this one and I'm gonna put it towards the middle of the board and then I actually love brie. This is a beautiful brie that we have and sometimes though your brie may be too big for your board. Maybe instead of putting the whole brie cheese on, you could just put a wedge of cheese and then of course, I love goat cheese, who does it? And the pretty thing I like to actually do with goat cheese when you build a cheese board is get it right here on the board and then just kind of smear it. Create like a really pretty smear. And then you can top it with like nuts or seeds or anything beautiful that's gonna add texture to that. So the next thing I like to do is add in our charcuterie, our meat pieces. I love meat that has texture on the edges, like this pretty salami has the black pepper crust on there. And I love that. And I'm actually gonna use that to cover up part of that sticker on the board. And you can kind of stack it really nicely, just kind of line that up. And then we also have some ham. So we're gonna put the ham towards the center. And I like seeing that pretty brown on the edge. So we're gonna kind of line that up there. And then I say we start with the nuts. We have almonds here, which are really pretty. And something I like to do actually with nuts is put honey on top and it creates like a beautiful, pretty effect, kind of like a candied nut. And I think the messier, the better. If your honey gets messy, that's totally cool. Top it with a little salt for texture. And you know what, y'all? We have one type of cheese I totally neglected. That's our cheddar right here. And the thing I like to do with cheddar is actually to cut it in kind of these longer pieces so that it creates a different shape as opposed to like the wedge of the goat cheese. And our rosemary. I think rosemary is a beautiful pop of green on a cheese plate. So we're gonna put that on there. And don't be afraid to overfill it. Like, I think the prettiest cheese boards look super full and super lush with a lot of fun ingredients. It kind of has more of a visual wow. Now we're gonna do some grapefruit, which I love this pink pop of color, and then some grapes. And then also olives are perfect on a cheese board. You can stack them on the cheese, you can stack them on crackers. And then I mentioned earlier that you can top things on the goat cheese. I'm actually gonna do pomegranate seeds because that contrast of the red and the white is super fantastic. And then we're gonna add the crackers. I love with crackers to get all different types of crackers. Maybe some that have seeds or some that are longer and rectangular or circular. They all look great. So I'm gonna pile some crackers on here. Sometimes it looks pretty if you, oh God, let me see. Just put it into like smaller half moon shapes. That's kind of a cool shape. Makes the cheese board look like it's been used just a tad. Perfect, I think this one is ready to style it for the photos. We got this all set up, but I just wanna add in some finishing touches to make this look cohesive and beautiful, almost like we're setting the scene for a fantastic party. So one thing I wanna bring in are these glasses of water. I love using a Topo Chico or a sparkling water because it adds some bubbles and some fizz to the water, which looks really pretty on camera with that bright pop of orange. Then we have this beautiful little baby orange with the leaves on it to add in the corner to bring in the orange. And then also, this is a party. We're having fun, people have made plates. So I kind of like, kind of styled a plate of someone who eats almonds and one cracker at a time <laughs> to put in the shot. And I'm gonna put that down at the corner of the shot. So you always wanna think about when you're styling your photos that you're telling a story and kind of like, what story are you telling with the food? And for me, this is a party. This is a cheese board party. So I wanted to bring the cups in, like people are having drinks and you've got your hit of fruit. Maybe somebody's about to cut into this and put one in their drink. And then you also have somebody's made a plate with the cheese cracker and some salami on it. It's kind of all creating this cohesive picture of this beautiful party, this beautiful cheese board, and the people that are enjoying it. And one last thing you wanna take into account before you take your photo is how is it looking? Is it looking fresh? Is it looking dewy? Is it looking appetizing? And one thing I really like to have around is my trusty squirt bottle. And you just fill it with water, and you're just gonna spray anything that looks a little dry. Like for example, these olives can get really dry on camera, so you're just gonna spritz those guys. Looks fantastic. All right guys, we're all done styling this board, so we're gonna take a few photos of it, and then we're gonna head over to style our next board. I'm thinking, 
like we spend the money, we have all these amazing ingredients. So why don't we do one more? Let's like go big or go home. Let's do an overflowing, huge, awesome cheese board. So I'm gonna start off with the cheeses first. I love this brie that we used earlier and I'm gonna kind of set it as the centerpiece. And then we're gonna use the other cheeses. So we have our goat cheese, which we have a schmear of. I'm by no means a cheese expert, but I will tell you that when you make things that look visually appealing, people are way more inclined to eat it. Okay, we have our pretty purple rind, which I love keeping that maybe even facing towards the camera when we take the photo. We've got our cheddar, perfect, kind of stack those. Okay, next we got our meats. I love this peppered salami, getting the texture going, stacking that up. Okay, coarse ground mustard looks so good on a cheese board. I'm gonna put this by the salami because I think that's a nice pairing. Same thing, kind of create like drizzles and swirls and flakes of salt. I think all that makes it look so good. So we're gonna pair that mustard with the salami. Next up, we are going to have our nuts, yes. <laughs> and let's put these almonds on the board. I'm gonna kind of put them close to the brie because one thing I actually do wanna show you is layering marmalades and honeys, it like bounces off the light on the camera, it looks amazing. So I'm gonna put honey on these almonds with a little bit of sea salt, and then we're gonna add that orange marmalade on top, which looks super awesome. Have y'all ever had like baked brie where it's in the beautiful like well, let's be real, the way my southern mama made it was wrapped in a crescent roll, but <laughs> I think the fancy way is like phyllo dough. And I love this marmalade because it has the chunks of the orange zest, so that looks super cool. I'm gonna do some macadamia nuts too, because we have all the room to play on here and just pile it up. I love it when it looks generous and it looks like we did this on purpose. We put lots of stuff on here. Okay, next up, we have our meats, we have that done. I'm gonna do some fresh produce, so let's put in some rosemary. I love the pops of green. You know, at one time I was at a party, y'all, I'm not even kidding, that had a cheese board, and there was a woman who told me that rosemary was good for freshening your breath, and while I'm talking to her, no lie, she stuck it in her mouth and started chewing it. She's like, it's great to freshen your breath. I'm gonna gnaw on this now, and I'm gonna throw that away. Okay, let's do some apple slices on this one. I love the red, like you can see the red on the apple skin. Maybe some grapes and also some red grapes, these are really pretty. And then our crackers. I love that these guys are kind of that rectangular shape. So you could do multiple shapes of crackers. You could do like flaxseed ones, more seedy ones. You could do the buttery kind, kind of alternate both. And I'm gonna kind of break that one up a little bit. I like when it looks like it's kind of lived in a bit. Okay, salt and pepper looks awesome on a cheese board. And you just kind of want to strategically place it on things that make sense. So for example, we have it on these nuts. I'd put some on the macadamia nuts as well. And maybe even a little on this peppered salami, kind of fits in with the flavor. And then take some of this extra pepper and put it on the salami as well. Maybe even sprinkle a little on the goat cheese. That's a pop of texture. And you guys, voila, we have our cheese board. Now I'm gonna go enjoy my cheese party for one. Hi. <laughs> All right, cheese board number two. This is pretty much the same setup as the last one, except we changed the texture of the surface and the color. I love this green. This looks so good. We're just gonna give everything a quick spritz, make sure it looks nice and fresh, and then we're gonna add some extra texture with salt and pepper. Perf, looks amazing. 